Hi, my name is Greg Ciola. I am the editor of the website, theinvestigatorsreport.com, and also the editor of the newspaper, The Investigators Report. Uh, I did a video recently on iodine, and I'm going to follow that up today with the subject of bromine. Uh, bromine toxicity is a massive epidemic in this country. It's something that a lot of people are just not really paying attention to. It kind of flies under the radar. But I would uh, beg anybody watching this video, go to Google, put in bromine toxicity, and look at all the stories that are there. Um, we sell this book, The Iodine Crisis, because bromine toxicity really is connected to the iodine crisis that's going on. Another uh, problem that most people don't really pay attention to. Uh, let me start by saying <clears throat> bromine toxicity, <clears throat> it affects so many different things in your health. Here's just a list of 10 different things that I have found with bromine toxicity. Number one, it disrupts thyroid function. Two, uh, it causes increased risk of premature birth and birth defects. Three, it can slow neural and cognitive development. Four, it can lead to cognitive failure. Five, it can contribute to mental illness. Six, it can cause all kinds of different skin disorders. It can cause DNA damage. That's the seventh. Number eight, it's a carcinogen that's linked to cancer. Uh, a lot of people are fingering bromine exposure and overexposure to it to cancer. Number nine, it's toxic to the kidneys. Number 10, it can lead to hearing loss. These are just some of the things with, with bromine. Um, here's the, uh, the real interesting thing with bromine, okay? It's a halogen, uh, but it's a, it's a toxic halogen, and it vies for dominance in the cells uh, with the other halogens. Iodine is a halogen, so if you have too much bromine in your diet or, or coming into your body through exposure to environmental chemicals, um, it could lead to bromine knocking the iodine out of your body and causing an iodine deficiency, which we know from this book and many other books out there by people like Dr. David Brownstein that iodine deficiency is a huge and growing problem in this country that's linked to all kinds of different health problems. In this book, uh, chapter 12, uh, Lynn Farrow, she, she talks about bromine deficiency. She says, iodine deficiency may, be a partly, may partly be a bromide dominance disease, meaning an underlying cause of iodine deficiency may be that we are exposed to so much bromine-related chemicals. Uh, bromine has bullied what little iodine we have in our diets off the receptors. And what little iodine we have in our bodies is true because it's not in the breads anymore. It's not in the salt like it used to be and in the right form. Uh, plus, we're eating so many different processed foods that lack minerals. So it's no surprise. Um, she goes on. She says, a bromide dominance condition may develop when bromide acquired through environmental, occupational, iatrogenic, or dietary exposure causes bromine levels in the body to rise high enough to inhibit iodine enzyme metabolism. Um, I don't want to get into everything here. You can buy this book from our website, The Iodine Crisis by Lynn Farrow. It's an excellent book. You should have it in your possession. You should read it. There's a lot of, of great information in there. Uh, but she says here, if bromide or bromine chemicals are so bad, why aren't they banned by the FDA? And she says, a representative of the FDA told Breast Cancer Choices, which is her organization, it doesn't consider bromide a problem. However, bromide is banned in a bunch of other countries from the UK to Canada and countries that have banned it, they uh, are having much lower problems with disease and, and birth defects and different things. Anyway, uh, Dr. David Brownstein, there's an article that's up there on the website. I got this off of Newsmax.com. And uh, in this little interview, he says, of all the toxic agents I have tested for, bromine is the most widespread. In fact, I have found bromine toxicity in 100% of the patients I have tested. 100% of his patients that he's tested are shown bromine toxicity. If you're watching this video, you have bromine in your body right now. Um, I probably have it in my body. We all have it. It's everywhere. It's something that has become ubiquitous, and I'm going to cover that in a second of where and why and how. Um, Dr. Brownstein goes on in this article. He says, uh, how do you detoxify from bromine? By reversing the competitive inhibition of the halogens. Iodine supplementation will help the body excrete excess bromine. 
Salt, which provides a large amount of chloride, can also help the body eliminate bromine. Um, he says, uh, and this goes back to this 100%, Dr. Brownstein, he says, I have tested over 500 patients for bromine toxicity. So far, every single patient has shown high levels of this dangerous substance, whether the patient was healthy or not. Uh, if you remember the video that I made, he said also that 96% of the patients he's tested have shown iodine deficiency. So this is huge. Bromine exposure, bromine toxicity is causing iodine deficiency. Uh, it cannot be dismissed. So <clears throat> you say, okay, well, you know, where am I getting bromine from? I'm not eating bromine or I'm not uh, getting it. Well, here's, here's the deal with bromine. It's everywhere. It's in pools and hot tubs used as a chemicals to disinfect the water. It's in pesticides. Many of the pesticides on the market contain bromine or bromide. Uh, it's in paint. It's in curtains. It's in clothing. It's in plywood. It's in fabric. It's in wood. It's in carpets. It's in mattresses. It's in baby cribs. It's in strollers. It's ubiquitous in vehicles. It's a flame retardant. This is where this is, is causing all the problems. It's in furniture, plastic, textiles, computers, electronic gadgets, you name it. Your home, your car, your office, everywhere we go today in this world, we are overexposed to bromine as a fire retardant, number one. Number two, it's also added to a lot of the foods. It's used in breads as a dough conditioner. It's also used in beverages. There are some beverages on the market that you can see on the label. It'll say BVO, which stands for brominated vegetable oil. Uh, Gatorade used to have it in there. I don't know if it's still on their labels or not. Uh, Mountain Dew has it. Other drinks have had it. So there's more pressure now, so companies are being pressured to take this out. But trust me, it is there in a lot of different things. It's in our foods, and then environmentally, we're exposed to it, we're inundated with it, and so, it's no accident that there's a huge link to bromide overexposure and iodine deficiency. So why is this important? This is, this is a must. You have to get on iodine supplementation. I know the, the FDA says we only need 150 micrograms per day, but Dr. Brownstein, getting back to this Newsmax, Newsmax article, he says uh, you should take one half to one teaspoon of unrefined salt each day and he said you need to supplement with iodine 12 to 50 milligrams per day is adequate for most patients this is what's needed to uh, make up for the iodine deficiency and also to get this bromine out of your body because what happens is again uh, they compete these halogens compete on the cells so if you get the iodine reintroduced back into the body it will help to detoxify the bromide from the body and get it out. Um, so that is something that you definitely need to do. Um, excess bromine exposure has been shown to result in iodine elimination. This in turn can cause problems for glands including the thyroid and the breast. So uh, <clears throat> there's an excellent movie that was put out by HBO uh, called The Toxic Hot Seat. I would recommend you go to Google and see if you can look that video up and purchase it, watch it, whatever. Uh, it's an excellent video um, to show the, the overexposure of these fire retardants. They're these bromide, bromine-based fire retardants. They're everywhere. And uh, if we don't do something about it, it's going to be a, a major link to health problems. If they can test your blood and find it in there, then this toxic chemical is causing problems in your body. And given the iodine deficiency, Again, get the book, you can learn more about it. You're gonna see that they're both linked. So anyway, appreciate you watching this video. Stay tuned for many more to come. Thank you.